What's good, y'all? It's Anime Zay, and today what I have for you guys is just a little bit of DLC talk. We're gonna go over some predictions that I have. Um, the obvious characters we're gonna get in the DLC packs, and who I think everybody would like to see, or who I personally would like to see. Now, to start, we're gonna go over how I think they're gonna roll out the DLC. Um, there are eight DLC characters coming out, so I think they're gonna roll them out in like packs of two. And it only makes sense that with each pack, the characters correlate or they've coexisted in the show or come from the same era. So with the eight characters, we're likely gonna we're likely gonna get like two characters from like different eras. Like for Super, we might get Jiren and Ultra Instinct Goku. Um, we might get Super Boo and Vegito. We might get a movie pack and a GT pack. That's how I think they're gonna do it. Now, to start with the movie pack, you know, for the movie pack, I mean, I think I have an unfavored opinion. I mean, they better put Broly in the game. Like, Broly has to be that given character that's in the game. For as long as I can remember, there hasn't been a Dragon Ball game without Broly. Broly is always in the game, so I'm actually surprised he's not in the final roster for this one. But can only hope he's gonna be in the DLC roster. Now the conflict with Broly is, of course there are a lot of people that don't like Broly for some reason. I'm not sure why, but there are a lot of people that don't like Broly and they just like recently put in a quote unquote canon Broly and um, what's her name, Kale. It just she's basically Broly in Dragon Ball Super, but I mean, to be honest with you, I would definitely rather have the original Broly in the game. It's just it's just something about the original Broly. Like there's something about his savageness, something about his power that Kale just couldn't get. You know what I'm saying? It's like we gotta have Broly. Like we gotta have him. But for the second movie character, I think they're gonna include. Um, that one's sort of a toss up. I think it's either gonna go to Cooler or Bojack. Bojack is a pretty cool character. Everybody likes Bojack. Oh, better yet? Nope. Nope. Janemba. Janemba can be really interesting. He's different from everybody else in the roster. Scratch Cooler, just forget all about him. He's pretty much Frieza with an extra form. Janemba is a totally different character, a totally new character that will have like a whole bunch of different and cool mechanics if he's included in the game. So I definitely think they should put in Janemba. Now, for the GT pack that I think they're gonna release, um, we're either gonna get Gogeta and Omega Shenron, or Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I mean, those are really the characters in the GT that stood out. Or we might even get like just nah, we're not gonna just get two villains we're either gonna get super saiyan 4 goku or super saiyan 4 vegeta gogeta and omega shenron or maybe even like gogeta and baby or something i don't know because everybody likes baby everybody wants baby in another dragon ball game i'm kind of angry that we haven't got him in so long but we definitely need baby in one of these games but you can only help um for dragon ball super i mean it's pretty much a given at this point it's already in the game blue goku and vegeta's already in the game so i'm thinking we're gonna see jiren and ultra instant goku it's as simple as that and as far as dragon ball z goes Vegito and Super Bowl. I mean, those are really the only two characters that are important that we're missing. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I think is going to happen. Those are my predictions for the DLC, and that's all I have today for you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Just remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.